Hello, today I'm going to show you how to mine Monero on Linux. So, first thing you want to do is you want to go to this GitHub right here xmrig slash xmrig slash releases. Or make sure you have xmrig twice there. It's a little confusing if you don't know that. You can click on the most recent version. You're going to scroll down to the Linux version. Go ahead and down that, download that. Then we're going to go into our downloads. We're going to go ahead and find it right here, xmrig right here. We're going to go ahead and use a program that I have shown in my earlier videos. It's called GTK Hash. You can actually get this from the Ubuntu software store, or you can download it through the terminal if you look that up online. So we're going to go ahead and find the file we just downloaded. 6.8 press open on that then press hash SHA-256 is what we're worried about gonna go ahead and go in here press control F control V and there you go it matches up it's always good to do this whenever you're dealing with uh, financial things in my opinion especially cryptocurrency um, yeah so this just verifies that you did indeed download the file that you thought you did and there's not somebody trying to get some nasty things onto your computer or be malicious or something. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and extract this. You can press um, Extract to Desktop, press Select. There we go. So here it is right here. XM rig 6.8. Gonna open that and open this. Now you could run the miner right now, but if you do that, you're just going to be donating to the developers of XM rig, which is fine. You can totally do that if you want to, because they have made this great software that allows us to mine after all. But you probably want to be mining for yourself, right? So the best and easiest way to do that is actually to just go ahead and get rid of this completely and go to another website called xmrig.com slash wizard. What this does is it lets you create a config file from the browser. So you can press new configuration, add a pool. Um, I'm just gonna put support XMR in here for the video. You should put a different pool on there if you can because XM, I mean support XMR is pretty big you want the hash rate to be as spread out as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up really fast so you can see what I'm talking about here. So here we go. Uh, mine XMR has 35%, unknown has 20, support XMR has 18. So support XMR doesn't have too much right now. I would definitely recommend uh, against mining on mine XMR right now. You, we obviously want to keep Monero as decentralized as possible, so it'd be best to go to small pools or one of these other ones like this. You know, it's not something that you really want to do, contributing to the centralization. So go ahead and keep that in mind if you're going to be mining. So I do have an address here that I posted in here earlier. I'm going to go ahead and use this paste this in here. You can put a name in for your worker. I'm just going to put test, press add pool, and there you go. Now we're going to press backends. Now, to my knowledge, you can't really mine that easily on Linux with OpenCL or CUDA. This is basically NVIDIA GPUs and AMD GPUs. Not that you'd want to anyway with Monero because GPUs don't really get that great of hash rate on Monero anyway. So CPU is probably what you want. Miscellaneous, donate percentage. 5% is great for them, but I mean, I'm trying to make some money too. So I'm just going to put 1% result. Here we go. So here's the config file. Now, if you look into the config that I just deleted, shouldn't have deleted that. I'm going to go ahead and get that back out really fast just so I can show you here. So we can open this up, we can scroll down to here, and really you could just copy this part and paste it in here. 
Oh, my bad. Yeah, you could copy it and just paste it in here where it says like URL and user and stuff like that, right? But honestly, you could just download it too, right? So here it is now right here. So now that you have it here, I'm just going to put that on my desktop now. Don't need this anymore. And make sure you rename it to just config.json. I have messed up recording this video a couple times, so that's why it downloaded as one. Make sure it's just config.json, right? So we're going to go ahead and just put that back in there. And then you can open it in terminal. You right click in this folder, press open in terminal, then type sudo dot slash xmrig, put in your password, and it should start right up. There we go. So now if you want to check on your hash rate, I'm going to go to the website that you used, which I for me it was support XMR. So it'll ask you to put your Monero address in here. There's mine. And it says zero right now. But it does say that I have submitted three valid shares. Right, so it's gonna take just a minute for this to update. I think I'm just gonna pause this video until it's updated in just a second. So I'll see you then. All right, so I'm back. As you can see, you might have to refresh the page to uh, do this, but as you can see, um, my rig right here is showing up, test. Um, right now it's showing zero hashes a second. This is going to change the longer that you mine for, right? I'm actually getting, you know, over 2000, right? Um, I'm not getting that high right now because I'm recording. This is a Ryzen 2700X that I'm mining with. I should be getting around 555,100, a 5K to 5500. But because I'm recording, I think that's uh, bogging down my computer a little bit, and I have some other things going as well. But um, yeah, so if you don't have anything running, it's definitely going to be higher hash rate. But anyway, you can see here, um, this shows you an update of like what's going on shows you how many shares you've submitted, your total hashes, things like that. Um, looks like support XMR now has a 0.01 XMR minimum. So you can go ahead and change this threshold if you want to 0.01 like this. And then press, press uh, set. Oh, I guess it's 0.1. I could have sworn it said 0.01 right there earlier but yeah so how long will that take well it depends on what kind of CPU you have right um, obviously the better CPU you have the more often that you will get paid out but honestly if you just like keep this running if you're like at work or something and you just turn this on before you go to work and then you come home and turn it off and use your computer and then go to sleep turn it back on you know, it's just after a while it accumulates and then you end up mining a substantial amount. Like, that's what I've been doing for the last little bit. And that's what happens, right? Like, you just do a little bit here, do a little bit there. Um, yeah, so there you go. That If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. I'm going to be posting this to Library and YouTube. Um, if you don't know what Library is, it's really cool alternative... Uh, video platform that's uh, starting out um, so you should go check that out uh, but yeah uh, thank you and I hope you enjoyed this go ahead and share this with anybody that is interested in learning how to do this and thank you